Hi everyone. This is going to be a short video demonstrating how to turn on two-step verification for your Google account. Two-step verification makes your account much more secure because not only are you going to be asked for your password when you go to sign into your account, but you'll be also asked for a second step to verify your identity, or some people call it a second factor. Um, this second step could include a verification code that Google texts to your phone, it could be a verification code that you get on your phone via a special app. It could be a verification code that you already printed out as a backup code in case your phone wasn't available. It could even be as sophisticated as a special hardware USB key that you purchase specifically um, for two-step verification or two-factor authentication. In this case, I'm just going to demonstrate how to use your phone to set this up because that's probably the easiest way for most people. So I'm going to go to Google's two-step verification um, site. And all this site does is just explain what two-step verification is and how it works to protect your account. So once I get to this site, and by the way, I'll put the link to this site in the video description. And it's also linked in the accompanying blog post for this video. So I'm going to click on Get Started. And I'm going to sign in with a Smithfield Google account and this is a test account this isn't my regular everyday account because I've already activated two uh, step verification for that account and been using it for quite a while so when we log in we do not check the stay signed in button and if it's checked we uncheck it and I'll click sign in and it's going to bring me to a page that again explains a little bit about two step verification and um, I'm going to click get started on the bottom of this page. It's going to ask me to re-enter my password just to verify that I am who I say I am. So I'm going to once again, I'm going to once again put in my password. Okay, so now um, it's asking us to set up a phone. And so my strong recommendation is to use a cell phone. It, it can be a personal cell phone because all that phone is being used for is to text the verification codes. Um, the verification codes themselves, once you receive it via text message, it expires after a couple of minutes. So if someone ever had access to your phone or got into your text messages, those codes would no longer work after a few minutes. So there's not, there's not a risk there. The other thing is the codes, the codes can only be used one time. So once I use a verification code that's been texted to me, if someone else got that text message, they could no longer use that code. I would get a fresh one the next time I went to log in. Um, so I'm going to use a cell phone for this example. So I'm going to enter in my cell phone number. And down at the bottom, I'm going to leave the choice set to receive a text message. You'll see there is an option actually to receive an automated phone call that'll read you a verification code. And this is a really good backup option. And we'll talk about that at the end of the video. It's important to set a backup option in case you um, don't have access to your cell phone. So once I put in my cell phone number, I'm going to click on the Try It button. And so now Google in a, in a few moments is going to text me um, a verification code that's unique for me that I can only use one time to verify my, verify my identity and will expire again after a few minutes. So I'm going to enter in the code that Google just texted me. And as long as I entered in correctly, when I hit next, I should see a screen telling me that it worked. Um, if I had not entered that code correctly, it wouldn't work. Or if I had waited too long and that code expired, I would have to go back and request another code and it would text me a new fresh code that I could use. So once I've got this working, I need to click on this link to actually turn it on for my account. So I'm going to turn it on for this account using that phone number that I just put in. And you'll notice now that it's telling me that two-step verification is turned on. It's been turned on since today. And there's also an option to turn it off. So if there's ever a problem or um, you need to turn it off for some reason, you can come back to this two-step verification page and you can turn it off. I strongly recommend leaving it on because it makes your account much more secure. But if you have a valid reason to turn it off, this is where you can do it. I'll also see that my second step has been um, defined here as a voice or a text message to my cell phone number. 
All right. So all of that is exactly what I expect and, ha and how I already set it up. What we need to do immediately, though, is if we scroll down the page, you'll see that it gives us a choice to set up an alternative second step. This is a backup option so that in case my phone isn't available, I, I forgot my cell phone or um, you know the battery died and I don't have a charger, that I have a backup option so I can still log into my Google account so I don't get locked out. It's really, really important to set at least one of these up and I recommend setting up more than one. So for an example, if I keep scrolling down, I can set up a backup phone number. And so if by using a backup phone number, Google could call that number and an automated voice could give me a verification code to get me into my Google account if I didn't have access to my cell phone. So if I had a, another cell phone, if I was lucky enough to have two cell phones, I could certainly use that. But if I want to use a landline, I can use any old landline that I have, um, that I have access to. So I'm just putting in my office number here. Okay, so that um, gives me a backup option now if I scroll to the top of the page. So if I don't have access to my cell phone, I could choose a backup option and it would send me um, an automated code to this number that I could use to get into my account. I also like this option of backup codes. So backup codes, um, if you set these up, what Google does is it gives you a list of 10 codes that you can print out and you'll see that it, it gives you a little way to cut them out, a little line, and you can put them in a secure place so that if you lose access to your phone or if you're traveling and you don't want to take your phone with you, you can bring these codes and you can use these as verification codes to get into your account. And you can only use each one one time. So as I use them, I would cross them off or check them off and then once I've used them all, I would print out another set. So this is also a really good option. The other options that are here are um, Google has a way of, if you have a smartphone and you have the Google app on your phone, it'll pop up a, um, a little notification that you can use as your two-factor authentication or your two-step verification. Um, this, to me, doesn't seem as secure but you certainly could try it out. You could also use the Google Authenticator app. Um, this app automatically generates codes for you. And you, the great thing about this app is you don't need to have internet access at the time. So all you need is your phone and it just needs to be able to be turned on and it'll generate those, those codes. And this app is available um, both for Android phones, for Google phones, and uh, for iPhones. And then the, the last option is a, is a terrific option if you're willing to spend a little money to secure your account. So this lets you purchase um, an inexpensive USB key that is specifically for verifying your identity. So when I go to log into my account, if I set up one of these keys, after I put in my password, it's going to ask me to plug in this USB key and push a button on it to verify who I am. So I would have to have this USB key with me anytime I want to log into my Google account. Um, a lot of companies require this for their really high security accounts. So that's that option there. Um, and it's not free. So one of those, those basic keys costs about uh, a little less than $20. Um, but it is an option for you if that's something you really want to do. So as you can see, um, I've got two-step verification on. I've got text message turned on by default as my number one two-step verification. I've got a backup phone number in case I don't have access to my cell phone. And then um, a third option, I also have my backup codes here in case I don't have access to my phone or I'm traveling and I don't want to bring my phone with me. So. What does all of this mean now when I go to log in? So let me log out of my account. So what this means now is the next time I go to log into my Google account, and this includes logging into a Chromebook, when I put in my username and my email address, and then I put in my password, that's not going to be enough. Google's going to ask me for that second step verification. And because my default method was a text message, you'll see here, it's asking me to put in a verification code. So Google um, is going to send me a text message 
and I would put in here the code that it sends me. Now, there are a couple of the things on this page that I want to just quickly point out. You don't want to remember this computer for 30 days because that defeats the purpose of having this second step verification. I want Google to ask me each time. So if someone sits down at this computer or if I accidentally click on a phishing attack, I want Google to prompt me so that I know that um, if someone gets my password, they won't be able to get into my account. So if I click on a phishing attack and I put in my password um, and an attacker gets my password, they still don't have my phone to get those verification codes, so they cannot get into my account. The other thing you'll see here is if, um, let's say I didn't have access to my phone, I could click try another way to sign in and then it gives me a list of those backup options. So the first one is getting a text message at my phone. Let's assume I don't have access to my phone. The next one was getting a phone call at that backup phone number with a verification code. But if I wasn't in my office and I, I couldn't pick up that phone, um, I have a third option of using one of my eight digit backup codes that I generated and printed out. So the codes that I put in a safe place. So the nice thing about this is um, I can choose any of these options here and it'll let me use those to get into my account. So I'm going to use the verification code via text message option and I'm going to put in the verification code that Google sent me and now I'm in my account like I normally would be and I can go to my mail or my calendar or my drive just as I, I normally would. So that's how two-step verification for your Google account works. Um, like any good security measure, it's not convenient, but once you get used to the routine, it's something that just becomes part of how you log in, and it absolutely positively makes your account much more secure because if someone gets your password, they still cannot access your account unless they have access to that second step. So in this case, my cell phone or one of those backup options that I defined. So I hope this helps. Two-step verification is a great option to keep your account secure, but it does take a little bit of setup ahead of time to make sure that everything is working properly. Thanks.